do it tonight. I'm trying to be energetic. Jay's in here and the food is coming. John, we are going to get to it. Hopefully everything works tonight. And I'm glad that I'm on the lab that's here to me in. My camera's phones. Well, well, whatever. That was a good idea. We're going to do something tonight. I want you to try everything that we do. See if your family loves it. Like our family does. Here we go. Italian stuff peppers. 400 degrees on the oven. This was over there because we had it. We got the water to I'm going to turn it back on do a little warm. Rice is already done. I'm going to give you directions quickly. So try to be fast and jotting down. Four medium to large green red peppers. Ooh. One and a half pound of large ground beef, we substitute it for Italian sausage. Mm. One cup chopped onions, some garnier, I'm going to do a quick one. One cup of rice, and then ratio once the water. Boom. Beef teaspoon, turn season. Boom. Half teaspoon, garlic pepper. Boom. One teaspoon salt, ma'am. One and a four teaspoon of ground black pepper. We're just going to eyeball this stuff. Boom. Two cans of mayo sauce, bam, and a half cup of margarita shredded pork, and we're giving Parmesan, folks. Let's get to this. We are starting now, preheated, preheated, 400 already, and we are going to ground the beef and onions in the skillet. I got an onion going right here, bring up the camera ladies, my wife, we got a red onion. Always curl your fingers in and let good at it. Curl them in the best you can. I learned that in culinary school, but as you see, I'm not that fast. And then what we'll do, they're a little bit chopped. And I don't know where my thing is, so we cheat. And we bring this over to this. I usually have a way to handle these over, but it's not here. And I'm live, and I'm not going to hunt it down. Now I want you to look at that right there. If you can smell that, you'll smell goodness. Smell that close. Bring it in. See what that looks like. 3D of vision here. Now, I'm just going to go to here. And we are going to cut the top off these bell peppers. I've got two cut off already. And I'm going to show you how to cut them. We're going to bell these peppers in half. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it a way that it's not easy to do, that I don't recommend to do, but we're going to do it like this. Be very, very careful with your fingers because I want to have halves here. And we're going to make them in a half. Make sure you get the seeds out. There's a half of one there. It's not like they recommended, but we're trying to use these up. And it came to mind, and this is what we're doing. Here we go. Now what I'm going to do, if you do it like that, and we're going to pause this for a minute, and we're going to be right back when I get these done. Okay, we're on. Look right here. We got them cut. We got the halves cut off. Can you see them here, camera lady? All right. Say hello behind that camera. Hello. All right. What we're doing on here, we got the brown um, sausage on here, and it's Bob Evans sausage. Mm -mm. We're going to put a little bit of um, onion already in there, add a little Italian seasoning, and what we're going to do is a little bit of Italian seasoning. I told you, told you the ingredients, the ingredients on Italian seasoning real fast. Uh, two teaspoonfuls, but we're just going to eyeball. That looks like it's Italian seasoning enough. Justin Wilson used the eyeball and get it correct somehow, but... There we go. We got that. We are going to put a little bit of uh, mm, garlic powder and salt. And here we go. Garlic powder. We just put a little bam it in. Bam, bam, bam. And bam for you Emerald fans. And I'm not Emerald. So we're going to mix that up. We're going to get that good and going. Smell of vision, folks, through this thing. Man, now here we go. We want to add this to this. So what we're going to do is set this aside. And what I use on this is I mash all my beef with these potato mashers because 
it gets it fine and it makes sure you don't get lumps. I guess that's how you put it there. Let me get my rice already pre cooked to start on a stick. But we are all right. It's not sticky rice, it's rice. And here we go. Now we're going to come back in just a second when it gets in here and blended. Be right back. All right, we're back, we're back. We went ahead and mixed this up. And by the way, you want your salt and your pepper in there. That was done. We have peppercorn salt, but if you, pepper, sorry, but if you have regular pepper already grounded, that's fine. Salt either way you want. It's already in there, and we went ahead and stuffed these. It needs a can of tomato sauce on the bottom of your pan. It's a nine by nine inch, but this will work. And we did that already. We stuffed some of these. And what I'm going to tell you is you want potato sauce on the bottom. And I'm going to show you how to stuff these. Give me just a second. You want to get a, um, that's a little stuff. And it's good. Since it's already on the bottom of these, we're going to stuff them differently. My hands are clean, folks. Are clean. Clean hands is what matters. In the kitchen. Wash. Regularly. We're going to have extra. So that's good if you want to make anything else. And there's a lot you can do with this with this stuff so don't think you can't come up with ideas with leftovers there's plenty of things you can do okay we're going to stuff these and they're pretty good stuff and um let me go wash my hands over here while the camera's looking at the food behind here we are back we are back we are washing up our hands now what it says i've already got it open is another can and you want to place this like this Right on top of these Italian stuffed peppers. And we're going to use the whole thing as much as we can, two of these cans. And we'll spread it out evenly as possible. And I think that's good. And then what we have is, they say mozzarella, but we're doing parmesan. It's a half a cup. So what we're going to do is spread this evenly, a half a cup of parmesan on each one. And here we go. We are spreading that. Mm -mm -mm. Does not, not look good already, you YouTube family out there. Try this at home now. As Justin Wilson would say, I guarantee. Well, I guarantee this is good. And I think that one needs a little more. It got a little skimpy. And we don't want to cheat nobody on their food. So let me open this up. And it looks like stuffy fingers can't open it. Here we go. Put a little bit of extra cheese on that one. Bam, bam, bam. And what we will do is 400 degrees. This will go into the oven and we'll go into the oven at 35 to 45 minutes. And it's supposed to be foil on top, but I don't have my foil close by. We didn't pick it up from the store. Sorry me, but it should work. We're going to stick this in now. And, and we are going to have a fun with it. And here we go. No, I got something else going in. Be careful when you put these in. You did not burn yourself. And we got extra stuff. We can use that for a lot of different things for a leftover meal. We'll be back because we are going to do another one with it right back. We're back, we're back. Welcome back to the Full Frame Kitchen with Uncle Jason here. We are going to do something called oven roasted squash. My family always did squash, fried squash. Sometimes they just want you to vomit out of your mouth. You want different kinds. If you like that old time, that's good. We're going to try our oven roasted squash. And what we're going to do is sit it over here. We got some already pre-cut for it. We cut them in half. They're small. There you go. We got to use these up before they go bad. So I come up with this recipe of oven roasted squash that I found. And what we're going to do, you take them with these to the side. You got a weird crooked squash. Hello? Hello? But well, we're going to cut these right here. Careful. Safety. With your fingers. We move that there. And what we'll do is we'll tip this end off just like so. Being very careful. Sharp knives can cut fingers. And we want to save these things. And we're going to go slowly, slowly, slowly like this. Yeah. 
It might not be evenly cut, but it's cut. And nobody gets hurt. Seeds shall stay. And what I have here in the bowl, it's partly done. I'll show you. Uh, I'm not following the recipe all the way. We got butter, salt and pepper, garlic powder, and more Parmesan cheese. And what I'll do is use the same thing, usually cross-contamination, but we're not doing, as far as I know, with anything of a salmonella product. And we'll stir this just like this. And we're going to spray this pan. This should be enough with a little bit of olive oil. That should be good here, just for sticking purposes. And what we're going to do is I'll put them in here and do this. We'll layer them the best we can with four. It's awful small, but I'm thinking I can get four in here. You think so? Smack that like button and let me know if you can do it. And let me know you're here. Like buttons are on the video there somewhere. Notification bells are on there too. Here we go. Watch this. We're going to layer a little bit. And we just made a mess. I'm going to layer this butter and all. Garlic, salt, and pepper in this cheese. Yum, 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 yum. The butter was pre-melted a little, but maybe too much melted. But it's going to be poured on anyway. And we're just going to get a lot of cheese on this. Because the cheesier, the better. My kids love gobs of cheese. And one loves gobs of ketchup. So maybe we'll find a recipe with ketchup. That will make a day. Alright, here we go. We'll just pour a little of this mixture on everything. Yum, yum. This looks good already. Uncle Jason is approved. Alright. Now we're going to check this. We're going to check this. And this will be into the same thing. 25-30 minutes in the oven. Yum, yum, yum. Let's put this in. When we open it up, we'll see what the others look like. Bow them down there if you can. Oh, man. You smell that. That smells good. Uh-uh-uh. Well, let me tell you something, Uncle Jason's here. I want you to try it. Here's what we do. We cut those things in halves. We put in a bowl, a little salt, pepper, garlic salt, a little bit of butter. It's supposed to be Parmesan or mozzarella cheese. Mix it real good. Put that on the top of your bread in. Garlic bread. 25, 30 minutes in the oven. When they come out, you just take your fork or your spoon, cut into them things and eat the whole thing. And the kids will love it, I'm sure. We shall be back and plate this food. Stay tuned and please like button to know that you'll be back. Thank you. All right, we're back, we're back, we're back. Timer is only four minutes and something, but I think we can see if they're ready to come out of the oven. They smelling good. I ate right, our dogs here. Let me pull these out. I'm gonna watch my back. Ah, look at that, folks. He's running a little closer because I can't bend down too much my back. Look at that. Hot, hot, hot. But they look good. And these, the Bamiyo. Very, very hot. These dot holders, not very well. And I can't bend down, it hurts my back. And that's not gonna be good tonight. I'll be taking pain pill. Here we go. Look at this, folks. We're gonna put one on a plate. Andrew wants to taste tester. We will do Andrew's first. And here's how we'll do it. We'll get one like this and we'll slowly, easily pick it up and plate one. And folks, it's going to be hot, but look at that. Mounted cheese and the sauce. And we'll get one of these. And we'll pick this yeah, up like one. this. And we'll slowly put it on here. If you don't have tongs, tongs are better. And then we'll put it here. Let's get a fork. And our taste tester in the kitchen. You know him already, Andrew. He's going to try this out. And keep in mind, this is going to be very, very hot. So don't let it burn you. Okay. Yeah. 
Here he goes, folks. And for the first official taste test, it is hot, so please beware that you don't burn your mouth. Okay, stuffed, uh, the squash is a good thing. Now after his mouth is done burning, after he was strongly advised that it was hot, now he's trying the stuffed pepper. <clears throat> Again, the, it just came out of the oven, so it is going to be piping hot. So please be careful that you do not burn your mouth. And again, he burns his mouth slightly. He's going in for a second bite. He must like it. All right. We're cutting this out. Everything looks good. The tiny stuffed peppers, roasted squash. The recipe was on there. Basically simple. We're going to cut this out of here. Cook it in the Fuller's family kitchen. I got to sit down. Family looking to eat. Um, we just want you to try these at home. You know you're going to like them. And what we do every time we end this off, we ask you, come on, to like, subscribe. Like that button. I need subscribers and likes. And you need to try this stuffed Italian peppers. And that right there. Mm -mm -mm. Smell of vision. It would be great. And I want you to go be the man or woman. That God has created you to be, make a difference in this nasty, nasty world. And from Uncle Jason, Uncle Jason's family, Uncle Jason's Fuller's family kitchen, to you. Peace out until next time, Uncle Jason. Okay, that worked.